Tyson Fury is facing Dillian White for the WBC and Lineal Championship fight this Saturday. It's going to be one of those huge fights in the boxing heavyweight division. And let me tell you, boxing needed this fight. Boxing needs big fights and also especially the big names in the boxing like Canelo, Golovkin, Lomachenko, Henny and others to just keep fighting. Boxing needs this because boxing has been dying slowly, being overtaken by the MMA for such a long time now that you forget how these, how these fighters can like put such a great show. So let's dive in into the Tyson Fury versus Dillian White, how the fight's gonna look like and you know what are the pros and cons of this fight. First of all, Dillian White is the mandatory challenger for Tyson Fury. We all know that Tyson Fury was, you know, shouting for that AJ or Usyk fight, you know, the big fight, the unification fight, so he can become the undisputed champ and hold all of the belts. Uh, we, we all know that Fury really wants that, but since, you know, AJ was caught up with the Usyk and then Usyk was caught up with the, you know, with the conflict and the war in Ukraine, you know, everything is being postponed. So that's why we have a Dillian White stepping up as a mandatory challenger for the WBC and he's gonna fight Tyson Fury. So this fight is actually much more dangerous to Tyson Fury than Deontay Wilder. And I'll tell you why. There is no doubt that Deontay Wilder possesses the power to basically knock anyone out. However, he is too one-dimensional. And we could see it in the, at the end of the first fight they had with the Tyson Fury that Tyson Fury just figured it out, figured, figured him out, you know, and there was nothing that Wilder could do in their next two fights that would basically win him the fight unless he lands some random haymaker. And that's why it was, you know, that's why people still give him a lot of, you know, a lot of doubt like, hey, he can always win that fight because he can always erase all of his mistakes. However, Dillian White not only has power, not, not, on, not on the same level as Deontay Wilder, but he has power in both of his hands, you know. As we said, Deontay Wilder is one-dimensional, meaning he has that, you know, right hand, and that's basically it. But Dillian White can punch with both hands, you know. I don't want to trash talk Deontay Wilder. He is great. I have a lot of respect for him. But, Deon but Dillian White is really good, you know. He has power in both of these hands, and he, he has much better defense than Deontay Wilder, because Deontay Wilder's defense is basically non-existent, you know. So Dillian White possesses the, you know, the skill set and the power to go full 12 rounds with Tyson Fury. What else is on Dillian, Dillian White's side? The big thing is that he believes in himself. But like, hey, you can do like everybody believes in himself. But like, look at Dillian White's career. He started in a freaking MMA, then in kickboxing. Then he, in his amateur career, he fought and beat Anthony Joshua, you know, the previous World Heavyweight Champ. So this guy believes he can do anything he wants, you know. He has only two losses on his record, and that's against Anthony Joshua, who was the champ, you know, in the, on the peak of his career. And then he, you know, he lost against Alexander Povetkin, who is a very tough fighter. But then he avenged his loss and knocked him out very viciously. So Dillian White believes in himself, and not only that, he also has skills, good defense and cardio to go full 12 rounds. If you don't believe me, you, could, you should just watch his fight against Joseph Parker, who is like one of those, you know, in, impossible guys to knock out. And Dillian White just basically dominated him, dominated him for 12 rounds. So Dillian White possesses much more danger to Tyson Fury than Deontay Wilder in that regard. However, I'm afraid that Tyson Fury is just way too good. And I want to tell you this. If there is one person who can defeat Tyson Fury in this match, it's Tyson Fury. And I'm not just putting, you know, a random quote out like that. Let me, let me, you know, let me describe why. We know that Tyson Fury struggled with depression, right? And addiction. But like, oh, what does it do with the fight, right? It's been several years ago. You know, you know, if you have been struggling with addiction or depression, you know that it's very easy to fall into it, back into it. Very easy. And now Tyson Fury was wanting that AJ used a unification bout for a long time. They even offered money to AJ, you know, to, to just fight him. You know, to, to skip that Usyk fight and just fight him. So he was not, he's not getting that fight. And you could see like in his note, like he was not trash talking at the press conference. That was this day, today. He was just not himself. It feel like, I feel like he just eyeing that unification bout as, you know, as his legacy or his retirement fight. They might, he might not be not focused this 100% on dealing with white, you know. 
Like, I believe he's focused and I believe he's a really good camp, but he might not be that absolutely 100% focused, you know, we are talking about the inches in this fight game. Another thing is that, you know, as, as we now mentioned, then another thing is for Tyson Fury that like, he, Dillian White is a dangerous fighter, you know, and we've seen Dillian White is just not budging into the trash talk of Tyson Fury. He didn't even come to the press conference the first time. You know, he was like, ah, I'm, I'm not going to bother, you know, I'm just here to do my job and I'll just do it the way I do it. You know, so he really believes in himself. So I believe if Tyson Fury doesn't overlook him and will be focused, he should win. He should win very easily. There is like, Dylan White is a very great opponent, but there is just levels to this game. And after we've seen Tyson Fury, you know, knocking out Deontay Wilder, and Deontay Wilder has a very solid chin, you know, Dillian White doesn't have a chin like that. He has much better defense, but he doesn't have a chin that can take an onslaught, such as, you know, Deontay Wilder. Therefore, but he has a good defense, you know? So the whole, what we will see, like, by the round, I would say by the round four, where the fight is going, if Tyson Fury can dominate Dillian White, or if his defense will prove too much. But, you know, as the history says, the technical tall guy always be the technical smaller guy, and Tyson Fury should totally win this match. I don't want to count off Dion, uh, Dillian White. I believe that he has a very good chance to beat Tyson Fury, but that chance will have only like a limited window in that fight. And if he doesn't capitalize on it in that limited window, I don't think he can win. There is also one thing that we've seen with the last fight between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, that since Tyson Fury switched to the more like aggressive style with the with his new trainer, it exposed him to a lot of body shots. And Deontay Wilder, surprisingly, in their third fight, was landing a lot of those body shots. So if Dillian White paid attention to that and could just hammer the body of Tyson Fury, I think that could be a way to beat to, to beat Tyson Fury. But like I still believe that Tyson Fury is just way too good at this point of a time. So what do you guys think? Do you think that Dillian White will go to distance with Tyson Fury? Or do you think that Tyson Fury will either go to distance or knock out Dillian White? I personally believe if Dillian White capitalizes on the solid body shots and Tyson Fury is not focused the whole fight, Dillian, fi Dillian White can win on points. Very close split decision. But if Tyson Fury knows how to deal with those body shots and is focused, I think Tyson Fury either wins unanimous decision or by knockout in 7th to 11th round. So let me know what you think down in the comments below and I will see you next time.